What's happening, y'all? It's your man the playing RJ, keep it a band, and I'm back again with another reaction video. Thank y'all so much for the continued support. Y'all go ahead and continue to like, comment, subscribe, and you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep pumping these videos out. You know how I get down? The same day I make them, it's the same day I'll take them. Um, this is a angry ass Uber driver uh, that caught a man cheating in her car, did the unexpected. But uh, yeah, y'all go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Turn that post notification bell down there. Because y'all know how I get down the same day I make them. It's the same day y'all take them. But here we go. All right, listen up, all you cheaters. If you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and you ever need a Lyft or an Uber and you get in my car, be forewarned. If you ever pull this kind of shit that this guy pulled today, you got the same thing coming. Damn. Today I picked up a guy. His wife and his kids walked him out to the to the car, said, I love you, daddy, blah, blah, blah. So he gets in. He says, hi. He goes, I added a stop. I said, I saw that. Mm. So we go and we pull he up at the stop. And this lady comes out. And she's got a little bit of luggage, like a handbag and a, a tote, house. small tote. She gets in and she's like, I'm so glad you finally got away from your damn wife. Hmm. Mm. Okay. So then he kisses her. And it wasn't a hi, how you doing kind of kiss. Don't tell me, bro. Is she about to take both of them back home? And so he goes, I changed our drop-off location. I said, I saw that. Uh, I didn't know exactly where it was that they were going at that particular time. I just saw that it had an update. So um, they continued to talk and this, that, and the other. And she says, you know, I'm tired of you putting me off. When are you going to leave? Damn. And he said, you know, I've got some things I've got to take care of. You know, let's talk about this later. Blah, 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 blah. Keep in mind, I was about five miles from his house. Ooh, so, no. understand something. This is my car. I work for myself. I am an independent contractor. If I choose to are. end your ride, it's my choice. Uber's not going to fire me. Uber's not going to ban me. Uber's not going to get rid of me. You sure about that? If you are doing something crappy in my car, I have the right to handle it however I see fit. Well, he, things didn't turn out so well for him. I took him back to his house. <gasps> I drove Dewey. up and made him and her get out of my car at his home it's where his wife and his kids were. Cheaters. There was no other way this was going to go on. There is nothing worse than a dog. I don't give a fuck if you're a female or you're a male. Pull some shit like that in my car and you're going to get done like that. Karma's a motherfucker. Be better people. Do better in life. Y'all know that Dallas and Fort Worth is the number one and number two place to cheat in America. It's like everybody cheating, everybody cheating. Didn't end well for him today, I'm sure, because both of them had their baggage and both of them were standing in his front yard when I left. Oh, shit. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And I hope you see this, you piece of shit. Okay. Is that it? All right, it. cheaters, part two, the big finale. All right, this is what happened. Whenever they were arguing or discussing in the back seat, they did not realize that I had turned around and I was going back to his home. Oh my God. I had already planned that the best thing for me was to end his ride. Oh so my God. by policy, I can end his ride in the middle of the freeway if I want to, Ooh, but I chose to take it back to the address where I picked him up. Damn. I mean, it is what it is. If I choose to end your ride, I end your ride, but here we go. So when I pulled up, they weren't paying attention. I pulled up, I opened up my door, I got out, I opened up her door, and I said, get out. And she looked at me, and she's like, but what do you mean, get out? I said, get out. Uh, right then and there, he saw where he was, and he said, oh, my God, no, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. I said, you get out, too. Oh, shit. And she's like, oh, my God, we're at your house. We're at your house. I said, both of y'all get out. And at this point, they weren't listening, so I started yelling. I said, get out of my fucking car get out of my car so his wife heard the commotion and she, she came, came outside. outside oh my god now but for all you people telling me that i ruined the kids lives i didn't ruin anybody's Hell lives no. i didn't make these choices that these you folks sure did they didn't. did their own they choices. did their own shit. when Hell i yeah. said that i took him back to where his wife and his kids were when i got there his wife came out I did find out that the children had already been picked up and they went, they were already at pre-K. Mm -hmm. So the kids did not see any of this happen. So let's get all of that out of the way. Shit a brick. So um, his Ooh, wife came out and she's like, what's going on? 
I said, I don't know. Ask your husband and his mistress. And she goes, you know what? I knew it was only a matter of time before I caught your ass. Then Damn. I knew she had some sort of indication that he had been cheating. Yeah, the intuition. I said, I'm sorry, ma'am. And she said, no, you did the right thing. I got into my car and I left. So yesterday I got um, a message from Uber that one of my passengers was trying to contact me. And if, if it was okay for them to get their number and um, give it to me so I could give them a call. Um, they did send me the phone number and I did call her and I knew that it was her. I did call her and um, you never she and I talked. Post? She did thank me. I said, I'm so sorry, you know, if, if I affected anything that was going on in your life. And she said, no, I already had, you know, some clues that he was cheating. She goes, I just didn't have proof. And she goes, and you gave me all the ammunition I needed. Mm -hmm. She goes, I just want you to know that you're an angel. You're my hero. She goes, and I just want to thank you so, so much. So she did put him out that Ooh, she man. is filing for a divorce Ooh, and oh, it's a wrap man. for him. Um, she said it's the second time that he's done it, and she told him if he ever did it again, it it's was over done. with. So that's what happened. That was a wrap. Dude. That's the end of the story. Boy, what did we learn? We learned that Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex is the number one cheating place in all of America. What we also learned is, is these Uber drivers can drop you off wherever the fuck they want to drop you off at. It could be on the side of the highway. It could be in the middle of a goddamn landfill. Or it could be right back at your house with your mistress and your wife. What? 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 Oh, my God. Bro, and then like all this is video recorded and all that. That divorce attorney, that divorce lawyer go, <laughs> oh man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this. This was the wow shit. Oh man, it's your man with the plan, RJ. Keep it a band. And like I always say, if you keep it a band with me, I'm going to keep it a band with you. And then I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. Oh my God, it started out.